Hi, welcome to day two of the Novel Life Project. I didn't end up filming anything yesterday. Yesterday was Easter Sunday, so there was too much chocolate eating going on to do any filming. Gotta swap hands. I hope you like my hairstyle. I think it's grand. My fringe was annoying me, so it's, it's gone. Anyway, like I said, it's day two. I am currently at home visiting my family from Easter, which is why it looks like I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm just walking down our driveway at the moment, but it means that the Novel Life Project isn't going so well so far because I'm not at home. The mindfulness stuff I have done, the task for the first day for the mindfulness half of the project was to start a gratitude journal. So that's easy enough to do because I had my bullet journal with me, so I've got my page set up for me to just write things. I might even add a photo. Yeah. And then the task for today was to create a seasonal playlist, which I've also done. It's autumn here, so I've made a, an autumn playlist. I'm going to share it, I think, on like Spotify or something. So anyone who wants an autumn vibes playlist can get a hold of it as well. So that half of the project's going fine. But like the minimalist half of it isn't really something that I can do unless I'm at home because it's about decluttering your own stuff. So basically, I'm just going to like bank them up until I get home. I'm probably going to go home tomorrow and then I'll do all of those tasks in one day once I'm home. Anyway, I'm gonna keep going for a walk and exploring things. I might take some footage, but I'll probably just listen to my new autumn playlist. I can't tell what I'm making eye contact with, which is kind of hilarious, but I'm gonna sign off now. I'll see you tomorrow or maybe later tonight or something for the next part of this vlog and it'll be great. You'll love it. I'll love it. We'll all be friends. It'll be wonderful. Been a bit of a mess this week which I mean is why I'm doing this project in the first place, but been low on energy, low on enthusiasm for anything. Haven't really spent that much time at home. I've been out just away from home. I don't really enjoy being at home at the moment, which makes it really hard for me to feel enthusiastic about decluttering it and cleaning it up and stuff because I just don't care. But it's the weekend now, so I'm gonna basically just take a look at the first seven days of the Novel Life Challenge and try and do a few of them to catch up today and see if that helps infuse some more enthusiasm into my life. But first I actually have to do some Novel Tico work because I'm very behind on stuff that I need to do for that. For the same reason why I'm behind on everything else, I'm just not, just not feeling the energy. So I need to do like some sort of spreadsheet and to-do lists and other such exciting things and then my afternoon hopefully will be novel lifing it up and it'll be great and it'll be wonderful. Hello, hi, howdy, welcome to day fuck me nine of the Novel Life Project. So far I've still achieved virtually nothing because I'm wonderful like that but I'm here right now with my bullet planner <laughs> and I'm going to tackle the overhaul your planner for the minimalism challenge. I'm going to write a list of things that make me happy. One thing that has definitely come to my attention so far, even though I haven't done too much of this task yet, is that there is a huge difference between being able to feel positive or being able to like improve your mental health in your everyday life and being able to improve your mental health when things are going badly. And I think that this is something that people often tend to forget about when they talk about like using mindfulness to, you know, improve your mental health and like having a positive attitude towards life and how it'll just help things be easier and stuff like that. That's all very well and good if you just struggle generally with your mood and with your motivation, but if you're in a really hard time, and I know that I'm taking this from a very personal perspective because my life is really Really, really hard at the moment. There's only so much that positivity and having a positive mindset is actually going to help that. Having a positive mindset isn't miraculously gonna help me find the money to pay rent this month. Having a positive mindset isn't going to miraculously take away the debt that I've accrued over the last few months trying to just pay my bills. It might be able to help me in the job interview situation but it doesn't help me automatically get asked to be taken in for a job interview in the first place. And one thing that I've kind of been reflecting on this week is that it is important to remember that when you're talking to people who tell you that they're having a hard time. Telling them to just keep their chin up or be positive probably isn't always going to be the most helpful thing to do because it doesn't help them deal with the very real, very big day-to-day -day problems that they're probably tackling at that particular time. It's almost offensive to try and tell someone that they can magically cure financial difficulties or like unemployment difficulties just by holding their chin up and pasting a smile on their face. So that's my nugget of knowledge for week one. 
one of the normal life challenge. That being said, I do need help with my mental health in general, regardless of the things that are going on, which is why I'm doing this. But like I said, the reorganizing my Pabuana slash to-do list thing is a really important thing for me because the way that I have my bullet journal set up at the moment just isn't working for me. I'm gonna swap you around. So my bullet journal has gone through a few different kind of life reincarnations or iterations of its existence. The first one that I had for quite a while was this one. That didn't last too long because I just, I needed more. So then I moved on to this, which is more of a day-to-day -day kind of to-do list, whereas that was like a week-long to-do list because I want to try and separate what I was doing for each day out and just focus on particular tasks for the day. But my main problem is that I tend to lose track of when things need to get done by. Like I have a lot of deadlines and things that happen that I just can't seem to keep in my head. Like my headspace is just too jumbled for me to keep track of it. I think what I'm going to do is do like a weekly set up where on one side it'll be like this but instead of to-do lists which is what's going on in there it'll be just like deadlines and things that I need to remember are going to happen on each day and then on this side will be a continuous to-do list like the previous ones that I've done like all the way over here. I tried to film a little time lapse of me doing my new bullet journal setup but it didn't work so I'm just gonna have to show you it now. So this is what I've decided to do. So this side here has got my weekly set out, one section for each day of the week and then the weekend, Saturday and Sunday is together. And then the other side is just an ongoing to-do list. So between the two of them, I should be able to keep track of things that need to be done by specific days and all of the ongoing tasks that I also need to do. I also wrote myself a little list of things that make me happy and that's it that's all i've achieved for the day so that is the end of my vlog for week one i'm sorry that it wasn't quite as successful so far as i hoped but there's three more weeks to go and it's an ongoing thing so i will see you next week for the next vlog and also for other videos in between and until then as always stay classic sit there and count your little fingers Unhappy little girl blue